Hey, Dan Cuchmilio here with NorCal Sports Network with a special video on the Los Angeles Dodgers and why they will repeat as World Series champions in 2025. This show is sponsored by Chapman Law Group. Check out Chapman Law Group in the description of this video. All right, let's get started here. Why do I think the LA Dodgers will repeat as World Series champions in 2025? Well, there are several reasons. One, they're returning Shohei Otani, Freddie Freeman, and Mookie Betts, along with Will Smith. They'll probably re-sign Teoscar Hernandez, and I think they'll get richer in the offseason with additions to their pitching staff. And as we did a video the other day, I think if uh, Roki Sasaki gets uh, posted in Japan, he will automatically become an L.A. Dodger. And it wouldn't shock me to see Andrew Friedman reunite with Willie Adamas, who he had in Tampa Bay. That would shore up their infield. Probably their weakest spot on the diamond would be shortstop. And they can move Willie Adamas there. They've already discussed they're going to move Mookie Betts back to the infield next year. So that would move him over to second base. And wouldn't it be shocking to see them trade Gavin Lux, pick up additional pieces that would help them out, whether that be more pitching or just, you know, they're just going to reload. And don't be shocked even if they sign Juan Soto. I do think it's going to be come down to the Mets and Yankees. But if the Dodgers get into it and somehow put up the same kind of money that Steve Cohen is going to put up with the Mets and force the Yankees to ante up more, if the Dodgers come into play, look, Scott Boris has already said that Juan Soto wants to play for an owner that's committed to winning on a regular basis, an annual basis, and who wins more than the Dodgers? They've been in the playoffs every year since 2013. So I don't think anybody's going to touch the Dodgers. The Giants won three world championships in five years. They are their arch rival, have been since, you know, the days back in – New York, and it was the Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Giants. They both moved out to California in 1958. The rivalry isn't much anymore because the Giants really haven't fielded a competitive team except for that fluke 21 season where they won 107 games to defeat the Dodgers by one. All this that did is motivate the L.A. Dodgers to not even to just leave the Giants in the dust. You know, the Dodgers had to hear for years and years, oh, you haven't won a World Series since 1988, at least a real one. The 2021 was, you know, a Cracker Jacks box World Series type ring. It really wasn't a full season. You can't count that. So what do the Dodgers ownership want to do? They want to go out and bury the San Francisco Giants. They don't want to just win three in five years. I think the Dodgers would be love to win three in a row. And they got one down, and they're going to look for to win it again and again and again. I think the Dodgers want to become what the Yankees were in the 1920s, winning World Series, or the Boston Celtics in the 1960s, just winning every championship. And The Dodgers have the resources. There's no salary cap to prevent them from spending and making it more equal footing with the rest of the teams. So why wouldn't they take advantage of it? And if you listen to Miguel Rojas here with Chris Rose on Talking Baseball, listen to what they say about the L.A. Dodgers and how the veterans hold the players accountable. And that's what makes a championship team. This is Miguel Rojas with Chris Rose from Talking Baseball. Take a listen here. Joel Sherman in the New York Post came out and wrote what the Dodgers told their players in scouting meetings 
It was that the Yankees were talent over fundamentals, that if you run the bases with purpose and aggression, the Yankees will self-inflict harm. Is that all true? First off, I'm going to start saying that we face the hungriest team on the San Diego Padres early in, in, in the play. That was the best team in baseball at the time. And the way that those guys ran the bases, the way that those guys put pressure on the defense, it kind of prepared us to everything else. Then when we got to the Yankees and we got the opportunity to prepare for them in our uh, scouting report meeting, we found their weakness. And their weakness was the way that they, they, they make out on the bases, the way that they didn't take care of the baseball and kind of like play a little bit of lazy, a lazy defense. And we say, okay, we know we're good but we're going to put pressure on them so they can make the, these little mistakes. So that's why we were prepared for them and we knew their weakness because we knew they were a good team and they're playing, they're playing hard baseball, they're swinging the bat. But the fundamentals of the game, I think we could be better and that was the difference on that series. There you go. It's uh, one comment from Miguel Rojas. He also mentioned with interview with Chris Rose that they uh, keep the the Dodger players keep all of the other players accountable. That's Freddie Freeman and Mookie Betts and Clayton Kershaw on the pitching side, and Daniel Hudson along with uh, Blake Trinan, holding all the other players accountable. You know, you look at Freddie Freeman; the guy plays 162 games almost regularly a season. This year. This past season, he didn't play be all the games because of the unfortunate um, illness of his young son. But uh, Freddie Freeman went out and played with a high ankle sprain and didn't even miss but a couple of games in the playoffs and rested the last series of the regular season. But Freddie Freeman's going to go out there and play. And what that does is it tells all the other players, go up and play hard. So I don't see how anybody beats the L.A. Dodgers. You know, it is baseball and anything can happen. I think the Phillies <clears throat> will be their biggest challenge in the National League. But uh, I expect the Los Angeles Dodgers to repeat as World Series champions in 2025. I expect the Dodgers to possibly sign Willie Adamas this offseason. I think Adamas. The Giants are interested in Adamas, but if the Dodgers want him, they will make sure they get him over the Giants. And I think he ends up becoming a Dodger unless he's, the Brewers are able to convince him to stay. But uh, I like the Dodgers in 2025 to repeat as World Series champions. As a San Francisco Giants fan, that's very difficult to say this, but. Facts are facts. I'm not a homer. I'm not going to give you uh, information as Giants fans just to placate Giants fans and tell you. You see the World Series championship banner poster behind me over my right shoulder. And you see all the hats there. Those are the hats by the 24 standings, the way they ended up. They're in order by division. You see over. My left shoulder, the Yankees, Orioles, Red Sox, Tampa Bay, Toronto. And then, of course, to the far right, the Dodgers, Padres, Diamondbacks, Giants, and Rockies. I will say I think that's how the National League West ends up in 2025 in that exact order. Well, thanks for watching this video. Please comment on this video. Give us your thoughts on it. Please give us a like and subscribe as you watch this video. And again, thanks for watching. And again, please comment on the video. We love to read your comments. Take care.